We have an idea of time that governs so much of our self-concept as people. It's our mortality, it's our experience of the everyday. But in science, time has undergone several huge transformations in the way it's understood. Newton believed that we had the ordinary time that we measured with clocks, but that there was a kind of universal master clock that existed in the heavens, what he called true, absolute, and mathematical time that was inaccessible to us. Einstein challenged that idea and said that there really is only the time that we measure, and if we want to advance our understanding of the world, we better be able to understand how to coordinate clocks by exchanging light signals among them and using that to synchronize what they, how they functioned. And so Einstein, in a sense, brought time out of the heavens and into the clock world. But even that became challenged as, as physics advanced. There were new ideas that Einstein adopted, too, that, that space and time were linked together and that there was really only a static universe of lines and space-time, nothing actually changing. And more recently, physicists have begun to explore the notion that time might be an illusion, a kind of macroscopic smoothness to the world that was only the product of who we are, where we are, and that if you could look more closely, like looking at the surface of water, you would actually see a seething mass of molecules breaking off and reassembling, and that that was much like time. Time as a continuous basic notion of our universe might well be an illusion.